All right, let's look at modern client enhancements. And um, these are, uh, so they're different than functionality enhancements. This is more user interface enhancements. So the ability to collapse and extend uh, document lines. Um, and I'm just gonna show you this quick if I pull up on a purchase order. So we know we have the ability to take these fast tabs and expand and contract those. They've added the functionality to com uh, compact the lines section. So just giving you more uh, screen real estate. And then this was the previous version, which is the ability to extend the lines. I just like to point that out if you want or have a, a lot of line items that you're dealing with on a purchase order, sales order, et cetera, um, you can pop that out as well just to focus on the lines. But that's what this additional line uh, functionality is. Uh, disable of export of data to Excel. So uh, the request really was more related to security enhancements to say, uh, you know, we want the ability to limit who can do the edit in Excel or the export of data to Excel. So there's some additional security settings around that. Um, enable non-interactive uh, printing in the cloud. Um, this is an important enhancement. So it kind of couples with the whole save as PDF. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up printer management And the printer management functionality is going to allow me to configure printers that will then connect to um, local printers or network printers. So this is an enhancement that uh, we've really needed around the printing side if you want to print directly to a printer. So currently, you know, you've got to go to a, a preview PDF document. Um, it's just there's some background stuff that that needs to be adjusted to the printer. This is going to greatly enhance your ability to um, print from uh, the browser, which is uh, a nice enhancement. It's a big deal for a lot of people. Um, enable mobile access related to device orientation. So if you are um, using the apps with Business Central, uh, just as a reminder, you can get free apps to download from the App Store, either uh, from for Windows devices, uh, Android devices, or iOS devices, so tablet and phone apps. Uh, those applications are free download them, it's the same user ID and password that you access your uh, Business Central system through the browser and you can use those apps. So what Microsoft has done is added some mobile um, uh, enhancements for, for the device orientation. So when you flip from landscape to portrait, uh, they've cleaned up the screens a little bit. All right, easier data entry. So what we're seeing is more and more um, keyboard uh, shortcuts added to the system. So um, my little go-to there is review the keyboard shortcuts uh, that are available in Business Central. So if you go to, um, if you go up to the question mark here, keyboards and shortcuts is a, a link that's available within Business Central. Um, take a look at these shortcuts um, and the keyboard shortcuts. So if you're somebody that wants to keep your hands on the keyboard, eliminate the mouse, um, you're gonna see more and more um, enhancements in this area coming all the time. So take a look at those shortcuts and you can see what's available. Importing profiles and um, uh, user interface customizations. So the primary purpose of this is if you're moving uh, between sandbox and production environments, that's your primary driver. So I can move security profiles between the two systems. So if I'm testing security in a sandbox, I can redeploy those into my production system. Um, but then the user interface customizations is a big one. So if you've got users that are making uh, customizations and changes, I can uh, deploy those across environments instead of trying to uh, recreate them. All right, the bottom one. Um, improved load times for pages. So this is a, uh, a big enhancement that we're seeing. So if you're working with uh, large data sets, um, on occasion there is a little delay on the load time. What you're gonna notice is that uh, pages are gonna load much faster. And what Microsoft has done is redesigned the uh, grid utility and the data access utility. Um, they're also caching more data. Um, when you navigate through the application. So uh, what I've noticed is the maybe the first time I've accessed a function, it's maybe about the same as what it was before, uh, but then the subsequent time that I uh, access that functionality, it's much faster. 